What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Calvin, the So Good Gardener, coming back at you with another one, all right? So today, I got a lot to do, and I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible to show you everything I gotta do. Might be 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna try, but check it out, y'all. Look over here first. Come here, baby. Got my wife, my beautiful bride, behind the camera helping me today, all right? So, you see these right here? I got my blackberries on each end, and then I got two grapevines in the middle. And over here, come on with me, man. Come on, walk with me. All right? It's kind of sloshy out here. It's been raining. It's all sloppy. It's a gray, cloudy day. But that ain't going to stop us gardeners. We still be working. A little chilly. Who cares? All right? So, check this out. I got the blueberry bushes that are here, there, and down there. I'm going to move these three back over there. And this is gonna be called, come on, this is gonna be called Berry Boulevard over here, okay? And you know me, everything's gotta be symmetrical. It's gotta make sense, all right? And the whole reasoning for all of this is to get to me, is to get to my gardenia, which I'm gonna up pot into these beautiful barrels, plastic barrels that I got from Sam's. And they were only $14.99, $14.98, whatever, however they price them. But they're 15 bucks, just say that, all right? So I gotta drill some holes in the bottom of that because gardenias love drainage. They gotta have plenty of drainage. They're acidic, they love acid, they're acid-loving plants. So I got a whole mix over here of stuff I'm gonna be doing. And I'm gonna just show y'all the whole process from beginning to end. Those grapevines that you see right there in those two raised that raised baskets or whatever they are, the raised beds, they are gonna go over here up against this fence and that'll be a later project. But you see these lights? <coughs> these lights, I got one here, I got another one down there, solar lights, farther down that end. But I'm gonna take them out of those pots and they're gonna be buried right here. And I'll have to put a trellis along the fence right here and that's where they're gonna live there. So, Come along with me today. Don't worry about the planes flying over. I ain't worried about all that. And if you see this dead body beside me right here, don't worry about it either. Look like you're ready to have some uh, <laughs> some uh, blocks around his feet and be thrown in the bottom of a river. But I wrapped my fig up. This is a, a Corky's Honey Gold fig that I wanted to wrap up and protect because I didn't want it dying back and having to come back up from the bottom. All right, I hate that with figs. So it's gonna live like this until it's good and warm and ready to come out of this cook. Hey, concentrate. Let's oh, go. Oh, okay, okay. You're on <laughs> a three-minute introduction. Um, I'd like for the people to know what's introduction. going on in the garden, baby. So, uh, I'm going to get everything started. You're still I'll, saying the same I'll thing. Come on. I'll to you Let's the go. whole process. Let's go. So, Let's go. Keep going. <laughs> here we walk, go, walk, walk. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's get started. What this tarp is for is for me to mix all of my soil. Because it's going to take a lot of soil to feed, fill those three big old barrels right there. These things are 22 inches around the top here, 22 inches tall, and 14 inches right here across the bottom. So y'all know it takes a lot to fill that. All right, I already got them. I've been using them for years. That's what these are in. And these have been out here for two years already. My blueberries have been in those. Get to so work, I, get to oh, work. Oh, okay, okay. I get distracted there. You do. I like to let the people know what's going on. In the so good garden. Well, the people want to see. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, let me get started. All right, y'all. 
Now that that's done. Boy, that was heavy. All those things are waterlogged like you would think they are. Okay. What we got here today is everything that I'm gonna mix up to uh, make it very acidic. And you know me, I'm a busted bag warrior. So all this half off stuff, bag probably ain't even busted. Oh yes it is, okay. So this is just pine bark mulch, very acidic, ash 11 plant. Let's make it do what it do, y'all. Organic, it was half off too, from Lowe's. Living Earth, my favorite stuff. Some stay green potting mix. This was in a busted bag too, y'all. It was half off because of that. Turn Thank it you, over. Lowe's. Thank you, Lowe's. I appreciate y'all. Stay green potty mix plus fertilizer. Okay. I got a bag of uh, in ground garden soil. And I know it says in big bold letters for in ground only use. I get it. However, if a plant, look at me, babe. Excuse me, up here. If a plant is gonna live its life in a pot, I want it to feel like it's in the ground. Okay, I want it to give me all the nutrients and all the vigorous flowers that it can possibly give me because it thinks that it's in the ground. Okay, that's my whole reasoning behind this. But you're gonna say, but Kyla, it's gonna hold moisture. In ground garden soil holds moisture. Won't that rest? No, because look, I'm mixing it up with potting mix. I'm making it a potting soil. Basically, because all the pine bark nuggets, whew, man, I'm tired, y'all. But all the pine bark nuggets and everything that's in there, it's gonna give all that drainage. And I ain't even finished with drainage yet. Let me show you something else, somebody. Okay, wait till the, wait till, wait a few minutes. Hold on. But this is what it looks like before it gets mixed in. So y'all all know what garden garden soil looks like. Nothing. Okay, now we'll mix everything back in the same order. All right, now I gotta get it all mixed up. Well, how are you gonna do that, Calvin? Remember, always have your good quality hose. Oh, God. Whenever you're trying to get some work done, you gotta call in the hose. Okay, have a good quality hose that can. This is a uh, <sighs> this is an action hose. All right, remember, see, she ready to go to work. Oh, he he. I mean, it is ready to go to work. Wait, you want a he hose? Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a he hose. But you gotta have a good quality hoe. I don't know. In investing you a hoe. <laughs> you better know. If anybody knows, if anybody knows, you know. <laughs> oh man. But get a good That's place. you. You walk you walked right into that. I did, I did. Y'all <laughs> didn't set it up, you did. Not a he ho. Yeah, you well, did that. I... Not me. Not me. Oh god. But check it out. Get a good good mix. Let your hoe do the work. You just, you just buy the hole. You let the hole go to work. Oh, okay. Babe. Once you, once you invest in your hole, you let it do all the work. Okay. It's just mixing all that, all them goodies. Oh my gosh. All that stuff good mixed up together. Right there. That's a great, great potting mix. If I have to say so myself. I can live my life. If I was a plant, put me in this, okay? And I'll take care of the rest. If I was a plant. Okay, now it's time to get some drainage in these things. I'm only gonna do one. I'm gonna let y'all see what one look like, and then I'll show you the rest at the end 
what I'm all doing, okay? That's fair. So, at the bottom of it, if you zoom in right here, you see it tells you to get you a little flathead screwdriver or something to notch that out, all right? So we're gonna see if it works. Still don't think that's quite enough drainage, so I'm gonna go medieval on it, okay? Because I don't want my gardenias to fail, and the whole reason I'm behind them is to uh, is to invite pollinators. See, this ain't even working. I'm already frustrated. I'm gonna invite pollinators. It could have been the way you were holding it. It might have been. Right there, okay? But. I'm gonna, it only calls for two. I'm going to put one here, and one here, and one in that middle right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on! All right, yeah, it's on speed. One more, and we're good. There it is. Now, if you look at it, it's like somebody shot it with a shotgun. Good. Good to go. That's plenty of drainage. I'm gonna fill it. But I still want even better drainage than that. So what are you gonna do, Cap? What you gonna do? Let me show you. See this right here? This is gonna prevent all my nutrients from leaking out the bottom while giving it drainage at the same time. Pea gravel. So, we get a good layer of it. About a yay thick. Okay. I would say. What's yay thick? Yay thick is about, about an inch. Okay. okay. Right there in the box. All right. All right. Now, let's get filling this. I'm gonna show you why in a minute. When I pull that gardenia out of the pot, you're gonna see the medium that it was grown in. And it's gonna look very eerily similar to what I'm putting back in this pot. Okay? So, for those of you, yeah, gardenia, they all kind of finicky, but they smell wonderful. And they invite pollinators. And people say they're too hard to grow, not worth the trouble. But when you get them for $3.99, like I did from Tractor Supply, when it was $22.99, and I got it for $3.99, oh, it's worth the trouble. All right, let's take a look at this root ball. All right. Y'all see all the vermiculite, perlites, and everything. Any other lights that's in there? I'm gonna break up the root system a little bit like that. And give it some, give it some love. See all that pine bark mulch that's in there that it was growing in? And let me spread this out a little bit. Because this is where it's gonna live its life. Oh, come on, come on. Get down in there. There we go. That's good. I want it a little bit above the soil level. Just a little bit, not much. See? See how the roots are exposed right there? I'm going to cover that up some. Yeah. Just barely. Because I want this thing to show up and show out this year. And it's going to. And then I want y'all, when you see it, in my videos this spring and summer, with all the flowers all over it, and it's looking all beautiful. I want you to remember this video. I might have to tag you and have to put it up top so you can go back and reference it. All right? But she done, y'all. She done now. And yeah, the soil's gonna settle some. I may have to put a little bit across the top. If I do anything, I'll put some pine bark mulch back across the top 
because we know it's acidic and she ready to go y'all what y'all think ain't she pretty because it's an evergreen gonna flower from i think spring and fall it won't flower during the the heat of the summer because it's gonna be too hot but it's gonna be focused on growth at that time and i'm gonna put them back over there in between my my apple tree and my plum trees and you're about to see the final results okay so let me finish up and i'll show you the end here we go all right y'all it's all said and done got everything completed i want to show you all the final results okay all right take a look over here berry boulevard is done we got blueberries blackberries blueberry blackberry blueberries and then over there we got hallie mulberry okay so what's the name hallie hallie mulberry yeah hallie mulberry okay i gotta name all the trees but i only named hallie so far all right and she give off black juicy berries too juicy and delicious yeah all that but all right baby check it out come on <laughs> don't look at me like that come on baby all right so here we go it's all done i'll pot it up i got all three of them over here one there one here and one over there so i forgot to show you the variety once again this is a sweetheart gardenia uh supposed to be get only about three to four feet tall and it's gonna live its life out in this pot it's good from zones you see that seven to nine and anytime you pot something up like this and don't put it in the ground even though i'm in 8b i take it what is it down a zone to seven yeah down a zone to 7b so yeah that's what i was telling you oh that's what you were telling me Thank yeah you, i still appreciate all your gardening advice and, and knowledge and everything yeah but <laughs> but uh yes it's ready to go mm -hmm. and y'all i'm not gonna water it in because it's been rained on constantly it's still wet now and gardenia hate wet feet so i'm gonna leave it alone even though i just put it in all this soil i'm gonna let it dry out for a little bit before i water it back in all right so that's all y'all wait uh, we, wait wait huh? what 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 <laughs> where's the rest of it i thought you had like five them. things yeah, to i do. told him baby you ain't putting the camera where it's supposed to be up on me baby. up on me i just told her i said one right here i know that's what i'm looking at one down there okay okay all right and one all the way down there you see that one ain't it pretty ain't it pretty okay and one down there so all right let's show the people come on come on with me we gotta give them this view am i oh. of what i'm looking at all right so understand the whole reason behind this is for pollinators i love first of all i love flowers i'm a man that loves flowers okay i gotta get my flower on all right but in the back corner over there is a camellia all right and then i'm gonna have a living wall of grapes right there so that's coming out of that pot and so is the one over there that's going to come out of that pot and go up grow up on the fence so when the cam camellia is back there behind that that mummy the man is ready to go at the bottom of the river that's camellia back there in the corner all right so all of those are pollinators for all of my fruit trees all my stuff needs to bring in all the bees the birds and everything they do okay so <laughs> i appreciate y'all for watching this is it i'm gonna wrap this thing up thank you so much and if you like it if you want to see what i do with these grapevines come back i got more things to do out here y'all you want to see the grapevines up on the fence and how i'm going to do that whole thing and how i'm gonna make that a living wall come on back and holler at your boy you know what to do hit the button appreciate y'all and i'm out keep sowing and keep growing in every single area of your life i forgot so some love y'all this world needs it there's enough hate out there so some love. Peace.